today is the 23rd. It is officially now Libra season. If you haven't noticed also my hair is a little different. I'm going lighter and I'm going to be talking a little bit about hair care later on. I'm going to show you guys really quick like a little mini physique update for you guys. I'm not going to like show you guys like a 360 because there's fucking creeps up in here. So you guys can see what I'm working with. As most of you guys know like I said I fell off for approximately almost three weeks which I can suck but it's all good. I'm going to continue to work hard and do my shit. And yeah, that's what I currently look like right now. I obviously talk a lot about health and what I eat and what my body goals are and like working towards those body goals and da da da. But I do want to say that it is very important to accept your body for what it is. I'm starting to kind of accept my body for what it is. Instagram, we're constantly surrounded by girls that are, you know, that are our body goals. A lot of the times, the a lot of the girls that we look at on Instagram, whether they are your body goals or not, a lot of them sometimes have shit done. A lot of the time, sometimes it's genetics. I want to make it clear that yes, I am working towards said body goal yes i want to grow my lower body and i would love to have a slimmer waist and all of this stuff but i do want to make it clear that just because i am idolizing that body goal doesn't mean that that should be the way that everyone looks i don't want anyone to think that i am canceling out any other body figure any other physique because i am not everyone has different body goals everyone has a different version of healthy everyone has a different version of just anything duh like obviously like i want to be slim thick and i obviously want to work towards growing my lower body and like you know flattening my tummy or whatever it is but i don't want you guys to think that this is the way that you guys should look i don't want you guys to think that i am only idolizing this body figure i think all body shapes are so pretty everyone's genetics are so different for some people achieving said body goal is possible but for some people it is not i don't know i just want to make it clear to you guys that that is what i am working toward learn to love the body that you are in no matter the size no matter the weight unhealthy if we're constantly looking at girls on instagram or wanting their body type so bad learn to love what was given to you because a lot of the times what you have someone else wished they had learn to love what was given to you because a lot of the times we take that shit for granted and a lot of the times someone else would love to have your body type someone else would love to be at your your size someone else would love to be at your weight someone else would love to be in your position so just learn to love what you have but obviously like if you have goals if you want to work on bettering yourself do that as well you know if you feel like you're going to be more confident if you work on your body if you feel like you're going to be more confident if you work out or if you lose some weight or if you just you know grow your lower body then do that do that for yourself you know but also make sure to love what you already have because what is given to you like that's what makes you you and like i said someone else would love to be in the position that you're in so never take your body for granted always appreciate what you have and you know just work hard every day for you work out for you do these things for yourself don't do these things for don't do these things so you can be seen great in the eyes of other people always do these things for yourself done with my lower body workout i'm so dead as you can see but now i'm gonna head home um i didn't record this time around because i am planning to film a lower body routine this week so keep an eye out for that <laughs> just got out of the shower as you can see my hair is still pretty damp get my hair done so i'm a little bit lighter at the top Following me for a minute you guys know that i had like really 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 short hair i don't know who let me cut it girl i don't know function of beauty for sending me this shampoo because i've been using it for the past few weeks 
and I have been obsessed with it. I chose the color purple because I have been obsessed with purple as of recently. So shout out to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this part of the video. When they hit me up, I was a little bit skeptical. They use a lot of natural ingredients and they were cruelty free. So I was like, why not? Let me try it out. Basically create a unique formula for your own hair. You start off by taking a two minute quiz. It's It probably takes less than two minutes because if you already know what you want, girl, you just be checking off the things that you want your hair type your hair goals your personal preferences then you choose the color of your shampoo and you choose your fragrance and if you don't want to add fragrance you don't have to using it i have been noticing that my hair isn't as frizzy because i did um want it to hydrate my hair because like i said my hair is frizzy and since it is bleached it does kind of get more dried out friends that i noticed in my hair is that it's so moisturized and my scalp feels so good too my ends don't feel as as dry either which is so awesome not to mention my hair smells hella good it smells like eucalyptus or whatever it's called I think it's called calyptus or eucalyptus the time I was with Johnny he was like complimenting my hair scent if you are curious to know what it is that I decided to put in my shampoo I put down that my hair is coarse and dry because it is for my hair goals I really wanted to fix my split ends something that would add shine and deep condition well as help with lengthening because a girl is trying to grow out her damn hair um by the way i love that it has a pump so if you do want to save 20 percent off on your first order from function of beauty i will have a link down below so you guys can save 20 percent first link down below in the description box if you want to try it out for yourself what is up everyone i have been just working all day so i've just been in bed all day here I had one of my favorite vegan meals, but I cannot wait to do another what I eat in a day video so I can show you guys more in depth. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. So what you are going to need is your choice of protein because we are trying to get the gain. Mine is salted caramel from Bliss plant-based protein as you guys know already you're gonna need your favorite oats mine are just the Quaker oats then you're going to need some milk you're gonna need a shaker bottle so that way you can shake up your protein before we put it in the oatmeal we're also going to need some fruit of your choice I'm choosing some banana and apple because banana and apple go really well with my blood protein so that's gonna use oh my god I almost just dropped it out this much water and then I put in about this much milk I don't really like measure it or anything I just kind of eye everything I wing it I'm winging my whole life all the time have water up to here I'm going to put in about that much shout out to opening a new protein bottle I'm gonna go ahead and use this kind of bigger bowl because I don't want anything to spill when I put it in the microwave because I'm gonna use the microwave. Oh my god! Then you're gonna go ahead and grab your protein. And just pour it in and I usually put this I mean you don't have to do this in the microwave you can do this in like a pot or something but I want this really fast so I'm gonna put it in the microwave for around like three minutes but if you do make sure to watch it because sometimes it can overflow can see here my oatmeal is not as thick as I would like it to be but I just let it sit in the bowl for a few minutes until it kind of expands so meanwhile I'm gonna add in my apple and like I said if you don't like your oatmeal watery you can always adjust the water or milk that you put into it So 
this is personal preference, but I like to put granola on my oatmeal as well just because I like textures. So I here I have the organic toasted coconut granola from Trader Joe's, hella bomb. This one is I, but this one's hella bomb. So if you can get your hands on this one, definitely recommend. Girl, and there we go, that is it. That's literally it. I'm just gonna let it sit for a few more minutes. So that's basically it for my last meal of the day. I have this all the time, I'm so obsessed and I'm trying to get thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So I'm gonna eat a thick ass bowl of oatmeal, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like we're hanging out right now since I'm like in this position and I'm like facing the camera or whatever. I just finished my oatmeal, I am so tired. Mira, finished my oatmeal. I finished the whole thing. I'm really, I love eating oatmeal because oatmeal is so filling and it just makes me feel so good and happy. <laughs> like, oatmeal is so comforting to me. I don't know why. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you for watching this video. And if you got to the end, I appreciate you. Um, better vlogs will be coming soon. Like I said, I'm very restricted on what I can do. So I'm just trying to work around what I can. And it kind of sucks, but I'm just trying to make it work. I'm pretty sure you heard like my dad and my uncle in the back of my footage. But it's okay. Um, also, make sure to check out Function of Beauty. I will have their link down below in the description box and i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for supporting and i will see you guys in my next vlog